My dear English Division students, after addressing you last week, I am glad to hear that you simply like this form of communication. Thank you for all uplifting comments. I am fully aware that in this difficult time, away from your families and away from home countries, you need and you deserve that the University provides you with reliable information and full support. Please be certain that we do our best. Your safety is and will always remain our top priority. The University is naturally an environment for gatherings, both academic and social, but at this time I urge you to comply with the governmental guidelines. Please, do avoid gatherings and public spaces. Please, practice social distancing and stay at home. This is not a drill. Without taking all these precautions, you will be putting your lives and the lives of the others at risk. Please visit the University website. You can find all the updated information about COVID-19 there. Anxiety, frustration and fear are all valid reactions to the current situation. Please bear in mind that our colleagues at the Department of Psychiatry are offering you mental health support for all the workers, for all the students, so do not hesitate to ask for help if you are struggling. It is a sign of strength, not weakness. I have been informed that some of you may have been dealing with racist remarks. If this is ever the case, I do urge you to immediately contact us, contact me by email or phone. I do declare that we will act immediately and decidedly this sort of behavior would not be tolerated. You may be away from your homes, but you are not alone. I also want to address some administrative issues which you have inquired about. I know that uh, some of you are considering whether or not to return to your home countries. Unfortunately, neither me nor anyone can accurately predict when the situation will go back to normal and therefore I cannot offer you clear advice on what to do next. The pandemic and the response to it follows a different patterns in each country, and we really cannot predict what the decisions will be regarding travel and closing the borders. Right now I have serious doubts that the situation will get back to normal after Easter, it is quite possible that all teaching activities, all classes will remain on hold. So these decisions are not in the hands of the government. We would like this pandemic to end as quickly as possible, but we have to prepare for the worst case scenario. We are constantly working on solutions to comply with the governmental regulations, discussing the available options regarding taking tests, final exams online, especially in the final years, when most classes are clinically based and cannot be just substituted with online lectures and seminars. These matters are very complex and uh, difficult and indeed we are in the process of consultations with the other medical universities, so I really hope that I will be able to present you with solutions very soon. Bearing all of this in mind, some aspects of the university life must go on. We have started the admission process for the coming year and are receiving first applications. If you can and wish to do so, please pass on the message to your friends, to your relatives, who are interested in studying here at the Wrocław Medical University. We welcome applications. Admissions are now open. All of the details can be found on the English Division website. There will be life after the crisis. There will be our university. There will be many English Division students happily studying in our beautiful city. I hope the next time I address you, I will be able to present more solutions and dispel any doubts you may have. 
I really encourage you to contact me with questions uh, at rector at umed.vrots.pl. Finally, I would like to remind you once again that at this time the most important thing is to care for ourselves and the others by complying with their safety precautions. I really know that it is not easy, but believe me, it is necessary. As future healthcare providers, I really urge you to lead by example. Please stay safe. And see you again next week. Cheers.